Principle number five, drivers. The three main drivers are anatomical, external, and natural. Drivers drive the body to create a, a subconscious chain reaction through the, throughout the body. So if I reach across my body, I just drove my body into the transverse plane in rotation. That's going to turn my uh, abdominals on, my hips on, and I have to control that motion with, with uh, all the muscles in my legs, right down to my, my big toe, if you will, right down to the feet. My eyes are driver. If I look down here, I create cervical movement, which actually creates a chain reaction down through my spine. Um, other drivers, my legs, uh, again, creating a, a, a chain reaction that, that's desirable. If I drove my, reached my leg behind me, I'm going to create hip flexion on my right side. So that drives a reaction. External is what we use all the time. It's our weights, our resistance, our cables, our bands, our medicine balls. We even drive our clients by the cues that we give them. Natural is gravity. Gravity has a big influence on, on how we do it. Just, just holding ourselves up against gravity is an exercise, our body weight. Uh, other environmental factors are, are, say, slippery surfaces, sands, things that, that, that influence our, our balance and our proprioception and our chain reaction events. So think about all those things as drivers to integrate into challenging our proprioception, our balance, our neuromuscular control, our motor patterns with our clients. This is where it gets kind of fun. We can kind of tweak it up a little bit as long as we have the thought process of why we're doing it and why, what, what our outcome is. If it is to create um, a stronger hip, then that, that's a good reason, but it has to be um, logically based. Principle six.